It's the last time we'll be seeing these two for a while because summer recess is around the corner. It is also the first time that we've seen Rishi Sunak at PMQs for a few weeks. In fact, he has the worst attendance rate of any prime minister. If we look back for some context, John Major missed 12% of prime minister's questions. Tony Blair only missed 5%. Boris Johnson, also pretty good attendance record, he missed 6%. Liz Truss is worth saying the only Prime Minister uh, to have attended all Prime Minister's questions on all three occasions in her very short premiership. Rishi Sunak, however, has been absent for nearly 20% of Prime Minister's questions, a point not missed by the Labour leader. I'm, I'm sure the whole House is pleased that he's graced us with his presence today, but we don't get any more answers when he's here than when he's not. <laughs> Mr. Speaker, I, I think with his time away, it's like you've forgotten how this works. Yeah! <laughs> the Labour leader pushed the Prime Minister on NHS waiting lists, one of Rishi Sunak's five pledges. A&E waiting times in England, the best in two years, Mr. Speaker. <laughs> while, while, the, and, while, while, Mr. Speaker, and they won't like this, while the NHS has the worst waiting times in the country in Wales, Mr. Speaker. Keir Starmer pitching Labour as a party of economic competence. When he said the workforce plan was fully cost, I've never seen the Chancellor more bewildered. <laughs> so let me ask it another way. Is his uncosted spending coming from more tax rises, yeah. more cuts, yeah. or is it just the latest promise to fall from the Tories' magic money tree? Where's the money coming from? Yeah. Yeah. It's not clear the Labour leader has the answer to that question either. The SNP suggested the two main parties aren't all that different. Mr Speaker, voters in Scotland are used to child poverty under the Tories. They almost expect it. But what they don't expect, what they don't expect is child poverty support from the Labour Party. And if we look very closely right now, there is a shiver running along the Labour front bench looking for a spine. The most laughs came when the Prime Minister's maths was put into question. Everybody knows that I'm a fan of doing maths to 18, but the honourable gentleman makes a very strong case for doing maths all the way to 61, quite frankly. <laughs> Mr Speaker, if he's so good at maths, then I'm 60, not 61. Yeah. <laughs> And look at the Labour benches when the PM accused Keir Starmer of not answering the question. It's you who should be answering, they say. Right, so... And here, a question from a former minister on Nigel Farage's Coots account. A bank that has the government as its largest shareholder should close the account of a senior opposition politician. It's fair to say the faces on the front bench were pretty glum, not least the outgoing Defence Secretary, Ben Wallace. If the PM loses three by-elections tomorrow, the Tory mood could turn even glummer. A lot could change, not least the faces on the front bench between now and when PMQs returns in September.